Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be playing Jonathan Blow's The Witness. And uh, if you don't know who the guy is, basically, he made Braid, and he's an indie developer, and he's really weird, and uh, he's, he's all about trying to defy convention, and he's a pretty cool guy. So... This is his game. He spent several years working on this game. A lot of people have compared this game to games like Mist. If you remember Mist, um, we appear to be in a tunnel. Ooh, I have a shadow. I'm a person. Okay. And this tunnel appears to be... Oh, where does it go? Does it go anywhere? Mm, now I'm in pitch darkness and I can't see... Okay. I'm trying to see how far back the tunnel goes. Okay, so I guess that's the end of the tunnel there. So let's not worry about the tunnel. But you see, that's the thing is this is the kind of game where you might want to check out what, you know, is hidden around each corner because there could be anything. But uh, right now we're going to solve this very basic puzzle by drawing a line. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, and then we click and that releases. So you click, drag, and then click. Interesting choice there. Makes me wonder if that'll come in to play later. This game is on the PlayStation 4 and Steam. You can get it today. I did not see it advertised on the front of Steam for any particular reason, probably because the, there could be bugs or something that haven't been accounted for. The PS4 version, I'm sure, has been tested to hell and back and is sharp. Uh, right now, the PC version is looking pretty swag. Not seeing anything going too wrong here. It's looking pretty good. All right, so... Uh, well, this is lovely. The sun is out. Um, those clouds are painterly looking. Interesting. I thought the clouds would be like 3D models, but now that I look at them, they're like painterly. I I'm really surprised. Wow. But they're not like... It's hard to tell if they're 2D or 3D. I thought they were 3D. There's a lot of, uh, sprites going on here. Okay. Interesting. Well... Anyway, uh, now that we're able to look at it up close, I can really, you know, pay attention to all the details. And, um, huh, this looks like a maze of some sort. We're going to solve this here maze. Uh, let's see here. I need to go this away. There you go. Is that the right? Did I do it? I think I did it. Okay, so what did that do? All right, that appears to have made a middle section. And I have two more cords. So now I can just follow these cords to where I need to go. Pretty cool. I'm only three minutes in, and I'm already loving the hell out of this. Oh, <laughs> I went over a wall. Oh, this game is going to be messing with me a lot, isn't it? Okay, so it came over to this side. And then, let's see, it must be in the back here. Now, see, I would sit here and enjoy the nice, restful air. This is, this is a very lovely spot. I, I like that there's seating, you know? I don't feel like I'm trespassing in some place that isn't meant to be lived in. This feels very lived in, and that's that's beautiful. Okay, it's another one of these mazes, and we got two exits. Interesting. So I guess really the, the solution is to try to find the exit. Um, okay, we definitely have to do a roundabout thing, and then we can go this way. But I wonder what would happen if we went down here and did this exit instead. Oh. Oh. So that goes outside. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. wonder what would have happened if I had gone outside with it. Would it have uh, powered this screen? And would that screen have been a part of something else? All entirely? I don't really know. That's strange. Somehow these parts are connected, and I'm going to find out how they're connected. Okay, so I think I'm doing this in the wrong order because this is a very basic puzzle. I think my eye was traveling to here first. Okay. All right, there's something else over here I'm missing here. What's this? Damn. I can't see the screen. I don't think it's going to let me try and draw on it either, even though it let me activate it, whatever that Oh! Oh! We got something going on here. Okay, the exit's up top, so I have to go up. That makes sense. Okay, so that's gonna power this screen. All right, so now this is, uh, ooh, right or up? 
Right, up is completely cut off. Yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, you might say, wow, is this whole game just going to be solving mazes with line puzzles? And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? The answer to that is yes. Hell yes. Because there's a little part of my brain. Oh, I've got, I've got I kind of look like the guy from Braid, kind of. I got that, that hairstyle that he had with a little duck tail in the back. See that? My character definitely has ducktail going on. Hard to tell if male or female, but I think it's male from the frame. But I could be wrong. Don't want to be too judgmental. Okay. Why is it letting me activate this table? <laughs> that was strange. I could... Oh, you can just do that any time. Huh. Does that mean I can, like, solve this from over here? No, I don't think I can. I, th I think you have to be up close to do it. Makes me wonder, oh wow, you can solve puzzles from quite a ways away. Look at that. So you don't have to be super close to solve the puzzle. That, I feel, is going to come into play later. I don't know. I have not watched anybody play this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, it's a blind play. Oh no. Every day I'm going to post like two or more videos of me playing this, and just look at how beautiful this is. It's so painterly. Oh, man, that tree, it looks like it should be a work of art, and it's a 3D model, and the lighting on it is just just, just right. What's this? We got a door over here. Mystery door, and some stuff on the other side of it. Well, we'll find out what that is, hopefully, as soon as I go over this ridge. Oh, I love it when water looks like that. I don't know why. It's super unrealistic and only in certain situations when it's perfectly still does water ever actually look like that but damn it if it ain't beautiful okay so over here we have uh let's see okay i'm trying to analyze what i'm looking at here all right i'm i'm analyzing what i'm looking at here well it's obvious that you start here and oh yeah, 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 okay, okay. I want to say, I want to say, that's not, I, I want to say that is what you do, right, right, okay. But we need to get the black outside. We need to pass through that, though. We can come back for those later, I guess. Um, no. Oh. Okay. Alright, the white needs to be on the inside. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay. And I can exit here. Now, I figured that out, I figured that out by looking at it, and I'm very good with puzzles, and I don't know if I was supposed to solve this yet, but I feel very accomplished for figuring that out. So, let's see what's this. I don't know. Um, am I supposed to just activate something on it? Is there a use key? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, what's inside? Okay. All right. So on this hexagonal pattern, we're supposed to draw that shape. So around the middle hexagon and out to the right. So where do we draw this at? Is there a, a place we're supposed to draw this? Maybe I'll find it later. I feel like this is somehow super important, though. I feel like what I've discovered here means something. It means something really special. So we're going to go up this way now and see what's over here. Ooh. We got some drop down. Um, I want to know about that closed door. Oh, wait. Is this an invisible wall? Aw, oh, shucks. Ah, oh, Jonathan. Invisible wall. I know you want to show me the vista, but at least put, like, a fence in my way so I know I can't go over it. Don't put an invisible wall. That's cheap. Eh, fine. All right. Artificial. Uh, 
I mean, it's not artificial. I mean, he wanted to put blockage there, but he also wanted to provide a view. I mean, see, the path is just interesting enough to make me want to go up here, but it's just treacherous enough that my character wouldn't want to just jump off of it. So, okay, I get it. I get you. All right, we're continuing this away. Now that we have some semblance of what we're supposed to do, uh, we got more puzzles over here and more puzzles over there. I'm just going to bypass those and come up here because this is drawing my eye. This is drawing my focus. It's a tree. What? Okay. You have my attention. What am I supposed to do about this? All right. So I'm drawing... I have no idea. Am I supposed to match this up with some... Okay, all right. Nope. Makes me start over every time. I feel like I have to just brute force my way out of this until I figure out the solution, and then from there I can figure out the rest. If it was the far right, I'm gonna cry. Okay, it's not that. It's not that. Okay. All right. I will, I will not give up. I'm filled with determination. I'm going to continue trying until I figure this out. Okay, I brute forced my way through it. So why was that the solution? Is it the shape of the road? Is it the, the shape of the tree? Is it the shape of the thing it's plugged into? No? What? Okay. All right. I'm going to look at this some more and try to figure it out while I stare at these beautiful freaking trees. Holy crap, they're beautiful. And I'll be back in the next video. So stay tuned. This is part of a series. There's going to be more. Keep coming back. I'm going to try to make something consistent here with me playing through Jonathan Blows, The Witness. And then we'll go back and solve those puzzles over there because I'm sure they're relevant somehow to something. I don't know. It just... As soon as I saw the black and the white, I'm like, you have to put them all on one side and you have to run through the black dots. I get that. Just, it snapped. So, a lot of these make sense the second you look at them. But this one, I am not understanding. I am not understanding in the slightest. Is there a branch? Is there a particular detail? Is it not anything in the surrounding area? Is it... It's the apple. It is the apple. Three branches on the right and one... It's the apple. Okay. All right. We figured it out. Sorry, I just spoiled it. So so now uh, it's uh, going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Over from the right. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine. So it's that one. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. We're continuing this a little bit, a little bit longer, just because I want to get through these. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. See, I just had to look at the tree. I just had to look at the. What did I? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Did this get? No. What? Why did it shut the puzzle off? Huh? No, come back. What? What the? What the heck? Alright, fine. We're gonna find out more about what that was all about next time. What the heck? Why did the screen just go dark?